one of the more common behavior problems that our clients need help with is their dog's fearful behavior, what looks like anxiety or constant worry and lack of confidence. Anxious behavior normally looks like being very vigilant, hyperventilating a lot, being tense, and not being able to relax or rest properly, not being able to play, sometimes not being able to eat. Dogs experiencing anxiety are usually actually afraid of some specific triggers, but even in absence of those triggers, they seem to be very vigilant and constantly on guard and worried that any of those triggers may appear at any time. Dogs who are feeling insecure, dogs who are afraid or dogs who are anxious all just really need and want to feel safe. They would like to feel and have a sense of control over their own safety and their environment. They would like to be able to use their behavior to feel safer and they would like a little bit of predictability. Families and friends and owners of those anxious dogs uh, end up having to lead quite isolated lives and have to arrange and organize their lives a little bit around their dog's needs. Um, they may have to avoid uh, a lot of different places. They may have to not do the stuff they imagined they would be able to do when they got their dog. But beside all of this, very often they just don't know what to do, how to help their dog be happier, a little bit more confident, and how to support their dog through this. They don't know what to do. That desire to be safe, that sense of safety and familiarity and predictability is something that we treat as a priority when uh, an anxious dog arrives to join us for our behavior modification program, just like Lola here. Uh, we take time to um, allow the dog to explore the new area at their own pace and we take time to build a trust-based relationship to bond with the dog and it will take as long as it will take uh, the dog won't actually learn anything new anything useful until that dog is actually feeling safe confident trusting and ready to participate in the training obviously every dog is different and different dogs are afraid uh, or worried about different things so the actual training plan and the triggers we work around vary between dogs uh, typically we will use play we will use food we will use other pleasurable things and activities to try to boost that dog's confidence and to create positive associations with places and situations some of the techniques and methods we use to work with these anxious dogs are proprioception and body awareness. So moving through space, um, overcoming little obstacles, moving over things, under things, having to think and use own body, own movement and own behavior to solve problems. Uh, another technique we often use is behavior adjustment training, a fantastic method and technique developed by Grisha Stewart. We also use a whole host and range of other consent-based and dog-led activities that help these dogs build a little bit more confidence and feel more in control. We use shaping and clicker games to build, again, a little bit more confidence. Once the dog is feeling more confident in the different areas, the actual triggers of the fear are starting to emerge. We can then work on specifics rather than on this generalized worry, just in case something appears, just in case a sound happens, just in case somebody pops from around the corner. Most dogs will benefit from some form of social play. This may involve toys or may involve just movement. It may be with a person or it may be with other dogs. It may involve chasing and jumping around or it may involve just gentle touches and gentle massage. We've helped many dogs with fearful behavior of the, or dogs who needed a confidence boost because we have the facilities, the resources and the skills to set up challenges at various levels of difficulty. The dogs are having a positive experience and are empowered to overcome their fears. After the dogs leave our facility, we continue working together with the owners because this training has to be transitioned back to the home environment and continued before we can really see the results. But residential training is not for every dog. 
the success depends on the severity of the problem, the triggers, and how well the dog is able to adapt to our environment. Dogs with severe anxiety, separation-related disorders, or extreme sensitivity to noise may not be able to cope here. It's always a good idea to meet us for a few one-to-one -one sessions or a trial stay if you are not sure. If your dog is with us on a behavior modification program, but after a few days or up to a week is still highly stressed and not adapting, we will contact you and may ask you to collect your dog. We can then discuss other solutions and training options.